Hello everyone, my name is Juan Negroni and I'm going to be talking to you from my studio here in Dallas, Texas about my next exhibition at Gallery Urbain. For me, the rocks are ambiguous symbols of endless possibilities. This openness makes me think about our history. Considering geology as the study of time through the analysis of Earth's physicality, this monolith, which gravitates, emerge, or sink into the Earth's crust, are standing witnesses of a metaphoric story about the origins of an uncolonized Caribbean. The rock is an overlooked object, and impressed by its physical qualities, we shape it into something else. The rock is a quite still object that needs activation and purpose. It is only a few people who consider these artifacts important as muted witnesses of history. Rocks are archives of time and events that cannot be decoded at first glance. At the same time, this seemingly meaningless resource emerges as the most significant object embodying the beginning of everything, a tool of violence, and as for the pursuit of peace, an obstacle and an instigator. They are tools for beginnings and for ends, while colonizing processes means new beginnings for colonizers, it means the end for the colonized. The grid is an interaction element, so the viewer doesn't have to experience the monoliths as just a rock and will be encouraged to react to a mediated element, prompting them to perceive the object as more than what it has been depicted as. These networks of lines or frameworks ornate this object as it multiplies the work's visual layered meanings. The grid works as a trope for how history is often contaminated or overshadowed by misinformation and often prejudiced ways of being passed on. These solitary rugs are the history that has not been told or the story that could have been. Thinking about wood comes naturally when I think of rocks, wood's longevity, as well as its uh, regenerative capacity plays along the lines of learning to cope, adapt, or overcome colonization and its processes. Wood as a surface for representation feels more honest and humble while maintaining its autonomy in the process. I can't control 100% the visual outcomes of the wood. While artificial intelligence raises awareness on issues about the authority we gain, maintain, or lose over images created in conjunctions with technology, for me, it performs as a planning platform which provides me with visual resources and keeps them organized and aligned with my imagery. The prompts I build into the AI application are intended to generate images of a temporal, hypothetical spaces. These prompts are based on my interest in subjects like the Atlantic tra slave trade, colonization, and archaeology. I am often concerned on how future generations will look into their past and what will they find, as well as what would have been of geographical zones like the Caribbean if what we know as forced exoduses would have happened voluntarily.